find. Did you say they've got like sensors on like almost like eyes on the end of each? Yes indeed, they do. <laughs> yeah, some of them are spiny, so they're quite spiky. Nicely armoured. So is that how they're different than the cushions? Oh they're different from the cushions in loads of ways. They've got longer arms, uh, they've got those spinies and they tend to be subtitle. So finding one up here is pretty good because this is really high on the shore for something like that. So Fraser, when you go rock pillin, it's always best to wait until low tide, isn't it? Uh -huh. And you can work that really easily by just by looking it up on the internet, and that's where you're going to find the most rock pools. So the trick is to find your rock pools, and then carefully lift up the rocks, and see what you can find underneath. So here we've got some snails, and then you carefully place the rock back down. And anything you take out, you have to make sure you put back. Wow! Velvet swimming crab. Lovely velvety top, normally red eyes but not this one, and the back legs flat for swimming, so they are actually really good swimmers. And when they're bigger than this guy, they're vicious little sods. <laughs> yeah, stroke his head. See? Velvety. Whoa, they are. Yeah. Grab. Just grab him. <laughs> so this is a bigger velvet shore crab. This is a almost a pinchy side. Oh, I think it's ah fresh malt, soft. Oh, is he really soft? He's soft so, enough. I could squish my hand into her back right now. So when now. they're a soft malt, that means they've um, discarded their shell and yeah, they've grown so a new one. Yeah, so this one's really soft so at the moment really too. So really vulnerable. Yeah, if I were to press down on her head, it would go straight in. I'll put it somewhere safe. Yeah. There's a wee fish just there, if you can see him. I think that's a goby. Whoa. So green shore crabs, when they're barbers, have really variable colour patterns. Also this guy, he just happens to have got a white body and green legs. So that's another one that's starting to go green. Whoops. So you can see he's starting to get the proper colours. <laughs> there you go. What's a ferret? It's the one you wanted to see. <gasps> Is this the one that's um, reappeared? Mm-hmm. It's the one that's having a really good year. Furrowed crab. Are they native? Yeah. So they have quite short legs for a crab. Whoop. Is uh, it a lady? Yeah. And they've got sort of the <laughs> grooved head carapace. And they've got really long and very powerful claws for the size they are. Yeah, so they've kind of got this distinctive way of sitting with these back legs sort of curled round like that, which is kind of similar to the way a edible crab sits too. <gasps> Whoa! He's big! Yup. Whoa, he's huge. Yeah. He looks like um, like a muscular crab. Yes. Yeah, yeah, they do. And they've got really long arms. So. I'm always hesitant to pick these up because of the size of those. He's in claws. Whoa. Yeah. So furry crabs do have serious claws. He isn't claws. even going for the camera. He's very. No, he's quite docile. This dog whelk is having a party, and that, I think, grey top shell is about to have a, a very, very bad day. Is he going to eat him from so the inside? That whelk is drilling a hole in his shell. He will then fill him with like digestive juices enzymes and the like, which will digest him inside, turn him into a lovely soup, which that dog whelk will then slurp up and enjoy. <laughs> We just finished our rock pooling session here in Lou at Hanafor Point. Hanafor Point. Um, 
beautiful, come. If you like this video, press like. If you want to subscribe, press subscribe. And send us photos on Facebook of you rock pulling. Anyway, bye!